Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick video because I'm just gonna do it real quick. My face is puffy, yes. I had a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna go really fast because I'm not really wanting to talk about it. So I don't have to have surgery. The brain swelling has gone, it's gone. But because if I don't stay on steroids, at least some, it will grow back. So there is active cancer in my brain, but it's not with the old spot. It's with the new spot. That's the bad news. Um, I thought my vision was getting blurry because of the steroids, so I was hoping, you know, well, that will calm down. No. <laughs> it is, um, it is in the frontal, uh, the inferior right cerebellum. And I knew that there would probably be bone involvement because I've been complaining about my ribs hurting for about a year. I do have rib involvement, but it's not where the pain is. Uh, it's on the other side, where I don't hurt, and pot and the top of my right femur. So I have a doctor's appointment next week um, to discuss chemo options, if I have any um, possible radiation to bones. I'm really not worried about the bones because kind of need my brain functioning so we need to go over if I can do radiation because obviously this is what happens I get brain swelling um so I'm just not gonna worry about it right now but I'm really upset um I don't want to go blind I don't want to fall and that's part of the brain that it affects so um I just wanted to do a really quick video to let everyone know what was going on because I know that so many people are out there sending us good luck and well wishes and prayers and whatever you believe in. So it wasn't horrible news, but it was still really shitty news. So I have to stay on steroids for the rest of my life. They're lowering the dose to about half. I have to stay on anti-seizure medication. They're cutting that way, way down from 2,000 to 750. So, I have to readjust my diet so that I do not have perfect weight. Because I know it doesn't look horrible, but it feels horrible. So, I love you guys. Your support means so much to me, and I am so thankful. And, you know, we're just going to keep trucking along. Um, but I get to meet pentatonics this weekend. There was an up and down to that too. My husband is a teacher and star testing is on Monday and he has to be at work. And the concert is on Sunday at 8 p.m. So he's not going to be able to go. But my best friend is going to go with me, Becky. She's going to go backstage with me and help me with the boys. So I still get to meet pentatonics. Hopefully some of the swelling will go down and I can just, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm just going to enjoy it because this is a bucket list item and, you know, I can't change the cancer, but I can still have fun. So if I don't respond to anybody, first of all, I'm not home. I'm in San Angelo waiting for my new medication and stuff. Um, and when I do get home, I'm probably going to sleep. I'm going on two hours and I'm probably going to cry, but it's okay that I'm upset. I won't be sad forever. You guys know me. So, but anyway, I wanted to make a really quick video and... Thank you all for all your support, and check your tits, man. Check your boobs, check your balls. And when life gets really overwhelming, just remember, this too shall pass. Even if it may pass in a way that you don't like it. Bye, guys.